Haley out in here alongside Mike O'Donnell. It was a great first session of basketball here at the Amway Center. Temple versus USF to start off the day, and the Owls got the win they were looking for, and they got some rest too. Yeah, they were able to rest their starters. They jumped out to an early lead, really never looked back. Uh, they were well balanced on offense and on defense. Quinn DeCozzi was kind of that quiet assassin uh, for Temple like he always is. Really solid effort by Temple. Allowed them to get some rest as they were trying to uh, see who they were going to play between UConn and Cincinnati. And they found out pretty well. And then UConn-Cincinnati, I think we're going to be talking about that game uh, the rest of March. It was an important game for the Huskies. It took four overtimes to do it, but they got it done. Yeah, I think uh, the entire country was watching that game. Four overtime thriller. It was an absolute barn burner. It was insane. The atmosphere was crazy. The amount of grit and intensity and toughness that both teams showed, I don't know how you don't put either of these teams in the NCAA tournament. You know, the, the selection committee is going to watch that game, and they're going to see that. Both teams came to play. We know that. We knew that it was going to be a defensive effort. What we didn't know was obviously it was going to be a four-overtime thriller with Jalen Adams hitting a tying three-point, three-quarter court heave in the third overtime to tie it, to send it into the fourth overtime. I mean, I'm just exhausted talking about it. I can't imagine the players thought, UConn only played uh, eight guys, so they need to get rest, drink their Pedialyte, drink their Gatorade, and be ready to go the next day because they have to play a really, really good Temple team. Kevin Johnson makes that three-point shot at the end. Cincinnati thinks they've won it. A lot of teams would have given up uh, with just under a second left on the clock, but of all people, a freshman steps up to make the big play for his team. Uh, he, it was unbelievable. Uh, it was a great uh, time to distance ratio that he was able to figure out in his head. It was it was crazy. It's kind of like those shots that you practice in your backyard by yourself. You're never going to shoot this in the game. Cincinnati started celebrating when they hit the three to, to go up, and then all of a sudden Jalen Adams, 0.8 seconds, catches it, three-quarter court. That's the, pra that's the shot that you practice in the half court by yourself in an empty gym because you never know when the opportunity is going to present itself. Yeah, that's a big-time play for the freshmen, and they'll take on Temple tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. The Huskies have lost both games to Temple, and they're going to need to get some rest tonight. Hard to beat a team three times in a row, especially in conference play, when you know the scatter report in and out for both teams. UConn's going to be tired, you know that, but it's not an excuse. They're playing to get into the NCAA tournament. This is a must-win game for UConn. Well, I know we're looking forward to hopefully seeing a couple more games like that in this tournament, keeping it exciting here at the Amway Center, and we'll have more coverage, of course, for you throughout the course of the day. For Mike O'Donnell, I'm Haley Outen.